This is an important mission. One Mr. LeBlanc, officer of the IIAO, has been kidnapped by the Valahia. IUPF Special Forces, call sign Fat Duck, rescued him, but was hit by hostiles in turn. They crash landed in the industrial area on the outskirts of the city. The IUPF has decided to launch a rescue helicopter, Paper Wasp, to save the VIP. Aptera Squad will fly escort. Paper Wasp will proceed through the oil field, then rescue the target from the city. After the rescue, Paper Wasp will cross the oil field again to safety, and Terrace will support. The success of this mission rests on how quickly the rescue can be completed. Hostiles are unlikely to give up pursuit of the helicopter easily. Remain on guard until the very end. Terra Squadron, launch. Hey, why do I have to deal with this? Where the hell's the rescue team? Calm down, sir. A helicopter has already been dispatched to our location. The IUPF are coming as well. I don't care who's coming, as long as they can get me home. Cannabis to Antara our first priority is to protect the target until rescue arrives. All AA weapons pose a threat to the rescue unit. Disable them and secure the area.
We have visual on the VIP commencing pickup. Head back to base. Mr. LeBlanc is alive and well, and there were no serious injuries among the special forces either. This was achieved thanks to the flying of Paper Wasp and support of Antara Squadron. Good job. The Fortress Spiritus has now left the Middle East and is headed for Anatolia, Turkey. We are to fly north in pursuit. The Vlahia's declaration of an attack on London has plunged Europe into a state of panic. Citizens are stocking up on food and essentials, and governments across the region have put emergency military measures into effect. The situation is most dire in London, where citizens have already fled the city in droves. However, the forewarning of this attack has ironically created a spike in demand for certain war-related services. In the U.S., the number of individuals taking out private war damage insurance has skyrocketed to record-breaking numbers. We talked with the CEO of the company who brought this particular brand of insurance to the market, Andre Olivieri of Olivieri Life Insurance. Why is our insurance selling so well? Up until now, the standard life insurance 
and property insurance have been woefully inadequate in terms of coverage for any kind of damage caused by war or terrorist acts. This, of course, is common sense. In the event of such a tragedy, insurance companies would certainly struggle to make good on a massive number of claims amounting to an otherwise astronomical sum. However, the insurance business is about duty and obligation. This duty extends beyond simple profits and losses. It is our obligation to provide security and peace of mind from the terror that affects all of us. Very well then, time to throw in my next axe.